Hello everyone, welcome to part 83 of Laravel 10 series in which we are getting the e-commerce website. So we are going to display the new Ravel products in this video at the home page. So we are able to complete the header menu. You can see that we have made this dynamic and also we are able to complete these home page banners that are coming from the admin panel. These fixed banners also we are updating from the admin panel. And now we are coming to the top trending section. So here you can see we uh, we want to show the new rival products, best sellers, discounter products and feature products. And this all button is showing the all the products together. Okay. So first of all, we are going to work on the new rival products. Okay. So in this video, we are going to show the new rival products and we are going to show the last four newly added products. So let's start working on this one. I'm going to open, I'm going to close first of all the earlier files. So I'm going to open the index controller and here you can see the index function and uh, here we are going to add uh, the new products. So we are going to fetch the new products okay from the product model okay. So like the commenting is very important I'm going to add like uh, get uh, home page letter banners. Okay, so this one is for get home page fixed banners. Okay, so now uh, we are going to get uh, get new rebel products, new rebel products. So we are going to get the last four new rebel products. I am going to take variable like new products. So from the product model, uh, we are going to select only those products whose status is uh, active, okay. So also we are going to show uh, the products that are last added means uh, we are going to show here the order by, I am going to take the order by ID whose ID is last one, okay like last four so i'm going to take it like the descending order order by id descending like if there are 10 products added then we are going to uh, show 10 9 8 7 so it must be id must be in descending order product id must be in descending order okay so uh, after that uh, limit limit uh, i'm going to show just four products last four added products so limit i'm going to add here and then get and we can convert it to two array as well it is always helpful uh, to use the array functions so always convert it to two array okay so here so this new products i'm going to uh, we can check it once like uh, last four products are coming correctly or not okay we uh, we can debug it once and then we are going to return it to the index bit file i'm going to refresh it and we'll see uh, okay so we are going to add here the product model okay include the product model as the top and now we are going to check here yes four products are coming here you can see uh, with the id 17 complete details is coming then with the id 16 17 16 then 15 then 14 so it's in the descending order 17 16 15 14 okay complete details of the products are coming okay so we can comment this one and a uh, few other details we require here you can see uh, that uh, here uh, we are required the brand name as well along with the brand name we are required the image as well so two relations we require here the relation between the brand as well as the product and relation between the product as well as the image means relation between the product and brands relation between the product and images so two relations we require so uh, one relation i'm going to add it straight away uh that brand relation i'm going to add belongs to relation in the product model i'm going to open the product model here and here i'm going to add the belongs to relation and image relation we are already having the image relation here like every product has many images okay product can have one or more images so we will so we have added the has many relation but uh one more relation we are going to add like we have the category relation we are going to have the brand relation as well like public function brand here uh, we are going to add return dollar this uh, belongs to and here uh, the uh, that uh, brand model will come 
okay then brand id okay so that's it so this is the relation so these two relation brand and images i'm going to include here uh, okay so i'm going to include uh, both the relation in our product query okay so i'm going to use here the with here i'm going to add the brand as well as the images i have used the array uh, in which we have included both brand as well as the images okay so now uh, the last thing that we required is to modify the index blade file with the for each loop of the new rebel products okay so here i will check here see all new rebels all the new rebel best seller discount product and future products in new rebels uh, okay so here first of all i'm going to check that uh, uh, this is the loop of the new rebels i will add something and we'll check here new rebels i click on new rebels yes brand name one has come up okay so it's fine so uh, you can see we can check it like this new rebels new rebels new rebels new rebels okay these four belongs to the new rebels and after that you can see uh, the next ones belongs to the best seller okay best seller is the next one okay so the new rebels is having the four press after that the best sellers come into play so we are just required to modify the new rebels so i will just take one new rebels here so the for each loop will come up here okay so i'm going to add the for each loop here for each and sorry i'm going to add it for each uh, loop here okay like this for each and here i'm going to pick up that new uh, products as dollar product so this loop will end here and for each and other three new rebel products i'm going to remove one two and three that are not required because we have added the for each loop for the new rebel products and four products we will show the dynamically last four products okay so here like uh, brand name for the brand name now we have the attachment of the brand name so we can easily fetch the brand name okay uh, so uh, I'm going to check it out first of all that uh, uh, now how it looks along with the brand as well as images I'm going to check it out okay so I'm going to refresh it and we'll see now once again the product array here you can see that the product is having the brand as well okay brand as well and if there are images then it will show the images as well okay so here you can see the brand is brand information is also coming up okay so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to open one more tab here so that will help us one tab i'm not going to update and one time i've got i'm going to uh, check out uh, that how it looks okay so like uh, uh, i'm going to use this one and we'll refresh here and we'll see okay so now uh, see new products uh, i'm going to check out like uh, uh, whether we are sending this one new products or not not sending okay so we are going to return this one here so that's why it is showing issue so now i'm going to refresh it once again yes this time it's coming fine so now uh here i'm going to re replace uh, it brand name uh with the uh, sorry uh i'm going to replace this brand name uh with the product uh, brand product uh, then uh, i'm going to check it out here uh inside product brand then after this brand name okay brand name so in the same way i'm going to copy this one product name so for product name this brand is not required it is straight away here product name uh, like in place of brand i'm going to add the product name and this one i'm going to remove this element okay like this so uh, rating and reviews are not here so up, uh, now first of all i'm going to check this one and it, it is showing some issue i think okay uh, type null okay so actually it is saying that uh, brand name does not exist for some of the okay so what i'm going to do uh, make sure like uh, these are the last uh, four products okay so make sure that uh, these products uh, uh, is having some kind of brand okay so uh, here like uh, uh, this product is having some brand 
I'm going to the products. Okay, sorry. I'm going to the products here. Now, see these four products. Okay, so like uh, red Gap T-shirt uh, must be having some brand. Gap brand it is having, and also I'm going to add uh, one uh, T-shirt from here. Okay, and uh, I'm going to submit this one. And now another one. I'm going to add uh, brand. Brand is required. Like Gap brand is required gap t-shirt i'm going to add uh, i'm going to make it like gap blue t-shirt and here i'm going to add the blue t-shirt as well okay so i'm going to submit it as well okay so again i'm going to the last one and gap t-shirt once again and here i am going to give the uh, gap once again and this time once again blue t-shirt i'm going i'm not going to give any t-shirt this time i'm going to fetch the dummy image if in case the image does not exist okay so for this one as well red casual t-shirt this time we will uh, select some other brand like uh, i'm going to select the arrow and for this one also i'm not going to give any image okay so now it must not show any kind of error yes fine so now i'm going to going to the new uh, arrival and you can see uh, the brand name as well as the product name is coming fine red gap t-shirt gap blue t-shirt gap t-shirt red casual t-shirt these three belong to the gap see three products we have edited with the gap okay we have updated with the gap three products and one product we have updated with the arrow so it seems to be working fine arrow gap 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 with the correct product names now we will work on the images product images and also these prices okay so first of all the prices this one is the discounted price and this one is the main price so we are going to show here the discounted as well as the main price discounted price we are going to show only if there is the discount type okay so here uh, first of all I'm, go I'm going to show here the final price okay final price we are we are calculating and adding in our table itself you can check out the price table here we are already calculating the final price for every product that is having the product or category discount or even brand discount okay so uh, here is the final price like uh, i'm going to open the last ids okay last four products okay so last four products is having some kind of discount you can see last three products is having discount one product is not having any discount and three products is having discount like one product is having 15 percent discount its its cost price is 600 and sale price is 510 and this product is having the 10 percent product discount see cost price is 500 and sale price is 450 and the same with the third one okay so this product does not have any discount so its uh, product price as well as the final price is same so this one here uh, we are going to show here the final price okay so here i'm going to uh that array product array uh with the final price and this one we will only show product discount uh, i'm going to only show if uh, uh if the discount type is not empty not empty it means the there is the discount discount exists for the product so that's why we are going to cross the main price uh, that uh, MRP and then we'll show the discount price okay and here uh, like final price I'm going to show here the product price check here new level products and here you can see the three products is having the discount here okay correct discount is coming see its MRP is 600 that is cut and the final price is 510 fine its MRP is 500 and that is the cut price means that we have cut and shown the 450 price and the same here and this does not have any discount so the complete price is coming without any cutting okay so uh, now it's showing the correct prices 
and now we are going to show the images as well product images uh, the products that are having images we are going to show the images otherwise we are going to show the dummy image okay so here uh, here we are going to show the images and after this one uh, okay uh, so here we are going to add the condition like uh, if image is there like if is set dollar product and we, uh, we can pick from here dollar product like uh, if any of the uh, product is having the image i think i need to refresh it because we have added some images from the enemy panel so once again i'm going to refresh so that the correct array of products will come some products must be having images and here you can see the image is coming okay here you can see that we have the image here okay so now i'm going to comment it once again and here i'm going to use this one is set dollar product then images like this and inside this uh, i'm going to add here uh, see first one we're going to pick so i'm going to add zero here then image and also one more condition we are going to use and then here i'm going to copy it once again now this time i'm going to use here the not empty okay so here else in else we are going to use the same image we are going to do it like this then here uh, this image we are going to show if image exists for the product like this so let's refresh it and we'll see and there is some error we are going to see what error exactly yeah and if is not there we forgot and if now we are going to check once again and now this time uh, i will go down and no see still images are not coming i think uh, product uh, uh, front images products then small okay path is not correct small we have given the status path now uh, so see now this dynamic now i'm going to refresh it once again and this time it's working fine but uh, still there is some issue you can see what's happening here uh, something is coming uh, so uh, we're going to check what's exactly uh, because in else condition it's fine uh, then what exactly that is coming here okay so we are going to check the codes once again and uh, okay so this one is coming inside so that's why uh okay so we need to make it outside okay you can see the it's outside of the condition so that's why so i'm going to refresh it once again and we'll see now this time it's working fine you can see the new level art products are coming fine two products is are having the images that we have added from the any panel and two products does not have any image so the dummy image is coming here for the two of the products uh, but the correct image is coming for two of the products two of the other products okay but uh, all the products are showing the brand as well as the product name along with the correct prices uh, along with the discount prices as well okay if the uh, if there is discount then the mrp will cut and the we're going to show the selling price but if there is no discount then we will show the price straight away okay so our new rival products are coming correctly here you can see in all products as well the first four products belong to the new rival so in the next video we are going to work on the best sellers so please stay tuned for the next video and do subscribe as well as join the channel for more updates and to get the source code so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye